everybody, welcome back to my channel, Dominga Chaton. If you're new, hello, my name is Dominga, and if you're returning, what's up? I was walking with the ghost. All right, so I did get a new camera. It is a vlogging camera, but I'm thinking about actually using it for just all the videos because it's so much easier. It's the Canon G7X2. It's basically like what all the vloggers use, and I got it for like a pretty good deal, so. I'm not a master at camera yet. Hopefully this is gonna look good after. I'm seeing myself up top, it looks pretty good. We'll see, because I'm tired of using my phone all the time. And then my big DSLR camera, I just want to use that for more like my photography, so. So on Instagram and on here, I did a poll whether you guys would like me to do tips on ASVAB or tips on uh, METS first. Most of you guys said ASVAB first, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then stay till the end, because I'll give a bonus tip. Okay, tip number one. If you have not seen my ASVAB video, okay, you need to watch that first. <laughs> Click on the little thing up top, click on the video, I'll put everything down in the description. That's the first step. It gives literally everything I did to study when I took it the other time. If you've been following me for a while, you know this. If you haven't, first time I took the ASVAB, I was in high school, it was a 71. Then I took it again, I believe uh, I didn't try, like I was like pressing A, B, A, B. Do not do that, okay? But I got a 52, I believe, and then I took it again because I was like, I could do better than that. I got a whole bunch of videos on this. And then I took it again, I got an 80. And because it was such a big difference, I had to take the uh, test again, a confirmation test. I got the 80 again, so that's good. And then it had been two years, I finally took my test again. And I got a 75. So that is the current score that I'm at. Okay. Tip number two. Okay, this is for the word knowledge and even paragraph comprehension. Go online, I'll throw a link down down below i'll do this for you guys you need to know the suffixes and the prefixes what is that like omni what does omni mean omni is all so you know it's omnipresent okay all present they're always present like god he's omnipresent omniscient things are going to get easier if you start learning the suffixes and the prefixes of the word. There's a lot of apps that do this as well. I'll link some different things in the description box. That way you guys can start studying them. Number three, big tip for math knowledge. You need to study factoring. What is factoring? I'll throw a little picture here. Um, you gotta study factoring. There was a lot of factoring. That's what I remember. People are like, what's on the test? Tell me what's on the test. A lot of factoring. Also, you need to know measurements. How many feet go in a yard? You know, how many centimeters in a meter? You know, stuff like that. You need to know and how to um, convert them. You know what gross is? Gross equals 144. What is gross? I don't know, it's a unit of measure. It's 144, just remember that. So if you did watch my video, which you should have before you watch this, this is just a given, okay? I think some people don't, I don't know, you're just reading a book or something to study, no. Okay, you gotta sit down and actually do the work. Practice tests online, uniontestprep.com, asvab.com, asvabtutor.com. Okay, all of those things, plus they should be free. Okay, I didn't pay for no study things. I had a tutor a long time ago, but I didn't pay for no study tools for the ASVAB. Practice tests means you're practicing taking the test. Practice them. Sit down in a room by yourself and literally do a test like you would any test. Don't get distracted, put your phone away or put it on do not disturb, okay? Practice those tests. Make flashcards. I would suggest make flashcards for all the math formulas that you're learning. So every time you do a practice test, every time you do a quiz or if you're on your phone app and you know how sometimes you'll take the test, right when you click it, it'll say, like let's say you got it wrong and it'll have the answer at the bottom and there's a formula to it, write down that formula, keep all the formulas that you're learning and study those with the flashcards. I learned a lot of formulas. I'm gonna link a video down, I'll put formulas, I'm gonna link some videos. This is in my other video too. It's a big tip, you gotta learn these formulas, okay? Tip number five. This was on my Instagram story because I was practicing and this is something that a professor told me when I was taking stats last year or something like that. Don't study math, do math. 
What does that mean? It means don't sit there, read a book, read the question, I don't know, I don't know what it is, tell yourself, I don't know. Sit down and actually do math. You have, for math, it's not like other things where you memorize. You can like formulas and stuff, but you actually have to do it. You have to put in work. You have to do the formulas. So you have to do problems that have the formulas in there. You have to actually sit down and work out the problem or else it won't stay in your head. You will not remember. A bonus tip. This was also something that I said on my Instagram story. Time yourself. Take your phone or a timer. Time yourself. Study. <clears throat> Let's say you're gonna study for an hour. So you put an hour. Every time you get a text, you gotta pee, you gotta go eat, you stop to talk to somebody, pause your timer. Do not keep your timer on when you're doing other things because you're not really studying at that point. Somebody will be like, yeah, I studied for an hour. It's like, yeah, well, for 30 minutes you were on Instagram, then you had to go to the bathroom, then you was talking to your mom, then you had to go get the mail, and like you just had all these little things. Really, you were studying for 15 minutes because the ha most of that hour, 45 minutes of that whole hour, you were doing other things, you were preoccupied. When you want to actually study and learn, you have to do it for a whole hour. If you guys don't know Jordan P. Peterson, he talks about this. He's a clinical psychologist. He does a lot of videos. Um, he has a channel, all this stuff. But he talks about being productive and people will say like college students, oh yeah, I'm gonna um, study. I was in the library for like six hours. How could I have bombed on this test? Cause you really weren't studying for those six hours. And six hours is a lot. That's what he says too. Actually study. Take that time out, put your timer on and study for those times. When I was studying with my sister, I'd put the timer on or even by myself, put the timer on. Once I got a text that I had to answer because I tried to put on do not disturb or I took a break, went to the bathroom, pause. The less you're preoccupied when you study, the better it'll be. Those are my five tips plus a bonus tip. Hopefully they help. A lot of materials and websites and videos are gonna be linked down in the description below. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you thought it was helpful and you think somebody else could learn from these tips, share it and then like and subscribe. Did I already say like? You can do that twice. But don't do it twice, because if you do it twice, it'll unlike it. So do it three times, because it'll be like, unlike, and then like again. Or you can just do it once, like a normal person. Let me know how you guys like the quality of this camera. I have no lights on. I just have my window in front of me, and it looks like it's about to rain. So the lighting's kind of off, but you know, we doing these videos for you guys. Um. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, follow me on my Instagram and Snapchat because that's where I update you guys the most about my Air Force journey. If you have not seen my latest video, go ahead and watch that. My journey's been a roller coaster. I've tried to get in the military. It's been four years now. My fin Finally, my paperwork has been approved after four years of trying, after getting permanently disqualified and getting waivers and blah, 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 blah. So, we out here doing big stuff, okay? Okay, that's it.